We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to use the debug options to help you troubleshoot problems that you're having. Now you can have the backups running at the time, uh, or you can uh, collect uh, the events as you go. So click in the upper left hand corner, and then go down to technical support, collect debug output. A new program will launch. And from here, it's going to start collecting right away, but it's really not going to collect that much information unless we make a few changes. So let's go ahead and hit the stop debug and click on capture. And then let's select all the areas that are of concern. In our case, we're just going to ch check them all. Also go to event based capture and we're going to turn that on as well. So any type of event that happens with any of the services that will also uh, show up and we'll capture buffered logs if we want uh, to to do that as well. In this case, I'm going to turn that off because that's not quite as useful for what we're doing today. Go ahead and click Apply, and then click OK. Now when we start capturing data, we'll actually see some useful information that will just start popping up. All right, some things are starting to pop up here. We get uh, the name of the process we have the process ID which will match in your task manager your process ID if you choose to turn that on uh, it gives you a thread ID and it gives you the debug message so this particular message you would use uh, to forward on to a support representative or you could look up the error yourself uh, using semantics online help so once that's all done it's going to capture it of course to a file and you can edit where that file is Let's take a look while we're waiting uh, for this to, to do more to uh, choose a few more options here, such as the settings. We can choose um, the log settings. So here's where the logs are. And we can change that location if we want. We can also uh, limit the size of the log files or the age of the log files. And under debug settings, we can choose various different type of debugging. If you have an Exchange server, you may want to add that or Oracle, etc agent browser you can enable ver verbose logging which will really give you a lot of information backup exec server there's various different logs you can add we'll add the sql log management catalogs device and media if you want if the device is giving you the problem you may want to add the verbose logging on that the job engine engine as well you can limit to how much uh, that's that's uh, that information is getting collected as well as the user interface all right so when we turn on verbose logging we're going to see a lot more information start piling up but this may be something that you need in order to properly troubleshoot whatever your issue is so you can highlight any of the particular ones and you can right click on it and you can cut copy or paste information you can also show in a new tab if you want uh, the tabs are broken up by each individual service yeah, but if you want to see all services at once click on the combined view all right when you're all done just go ahead and click stop and uh, the location of the file was, or it was in the settings that I showed you earlier log settings so grab the file from this location and then you can upload that to semantic or use it yourself to do some troubleshooting